on sailing Aquarius. Yeah, it's probably time that we update you on sailing Aquarius. But as you can see in the title, we bought a new boat. And we've rescheduled our circumnavigation party for May 10th and 11th in conjunction with the Vibe Boat Show in St. Thomas. And everybody knows that you can't say you've circumnavigated unless you really circumnavigated and you had a party to prove it. So if you want to know more about the boat or more about our upcoming circumnavigation party, well, stay tuned because it's all going to be in this video. question has to be, did you get a cat? Well, did you? Did you get a cat? No, we didn't get a cat. I just got back from San Diego and of course a quick visit with my mom because she really misses me. And I just happened to have purchased a new boat. And I know you'd really like to see it and I really want to show it to you because it's just a hop Skip and a snap away. Oh, and did I mention the merch? See, you can get this hat right here. Here she is. Friendship 2. I know what you're thinking. She doesn't look like much. And you know, you're right. But I do have to give it a clean up. And you never know, this boat might have potential. It has two very important assets. And those would be the masts. Aquarius lost her masts in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, 1,286 miles from Martinique. We ended up motoring all the way to Martinique, and then we found out it would take a very long time and cost a lot of money to fix Aquarius in Martinique. So I brought her down to Trinidad, knowing at the time that this boat was here. And this is the boat we bought. And now, let's talk a little bit about Friendship 2, how it ended up here in Trinidad, and her future. It's sad to see a boat end up like this, but it does happen too often. Friendship 2 was purchased new in 2003 by Bob Stewart. Bob joined the Ark, and completed his circumnavigation on Friendship 2 in about 2008. On the way to complete the circumnavigation, Friendship 2 was dismasted in Bali, Indonesia and was remasted in Singapore about eight months later. Bob returned to his real estate business in Northern California during the real estate downturn of 2008-2009. And though he had planned to continue the sailing life, he never made it back to friendship too. When I was looking for a boat eight years ago, I didn't hear of any super marmus that had been dismasted. But now I know of three. All three of the super marmus dismasted lost their mast in large part due to the poles. I will talk more about this in future videos. When I was discussing the terms of the deal to buy friendship too, I hadn't seen her in person but I did hear she received new masts in 2006 or 2007. Thus, these masts are some of the newest Super Maramu masts produced. I also had a friend in Trinidad send me photos of Friendship 2 while I was still in Martinique. He told me it looked like Friendship 2 was infested with termites. The boat had been sitting on the hard for 15 years in Trinidad and it also had some nests visible on the hull. But I found no termite damage inside the boat so far. The next question is, what will happen to Friendship 2? She is for sale. 
I am also looking for another set of masks for her just in case the new buyer would like to remaster. Maybe we can find another Super Maramu that unfortunately had a fire, termites, or destroyed. If found, Friendship 2 may be remastered and live on. It would be a shame if she ended up an Airbnb in the Caribbean somewhere, but that would not be the worst thing either. We got less than 30 days to fix Aquarius, so let the work begin. trying to get all the magazines all those are magazines that were inside this boat I think there's still a couple stashes of them someplace looks like that's where they did the damage when they got this master but he's gonna be cleaned up a bit This is starting to look nice. Er, needs to be cleaned up a little bit though. And all of this area is starting to look a little bit better. So it seems like I walk this way a couple times a day because Friendship 2 is over at Coral Cove where I'm walking to. Power Boats is right behind me. So that's power boats. Coral Cove is right over there. So I'm heading over there, but uh, I'm gonna first stop and see Mitch, who's doing all the stainless steel on our boat, and uh, talk to him for a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm lowering your boat. You're ringing me? Yeah. What, you're gonna tell me you're leaving? <laughs> yes, I gotta leave. The wife just called you, gently. Oh. Yeah. Somebody's got the reins. Who wears the pants in the family? Well, um, a happy wife is a happy life. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this thing. She looks beautiful. Before we install it. And then you're gonna install these bars tomorrow? These? Those are the ones that go in the, the, yeah, for the feet, bimini. Feet, to get his measurement. Is there, what I wanted to confirm with Sean before we put it up, if there's, everything is okay. Well, you better get home to the wife. Yeah, I have to. You'll have a you happy say, life. Happy wife, happy life, eh? Yeah. And the kids. <laughs> How many kids you got? I got four. Just Plus. remember that. He's got four kids to feed. He needs a lot more <laughs> stainless steel work. So we're listening into the, the net. will be moderate. One to two meters in open waters. And less in sheltered bays. Winds will be light. Out of the northeast, and I think that's Kenny. He might be helping us later today. So this is what I love about power boats. They aim to please. So uh, Brent is going to come over and help me with my fenders that I need to get on the, the other boat, Traveler 2. I mean, why don't I think it's Traveler 2? Friendship 2. And, uh, you know, get the fenders on it so I can move the boat over here. Today's the big day. That right there is going to be another Super Maramu. How the job goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So like all people since we saw each other. Every time I walk out the yard.
I've got one backstay to take off. So we're gonna do that now and then I'll be ready to go in the water. So after about 14 years, friendship two, it's going in the water. I got a couple helpers that are fishermen, so hopefully we'll be able to get this boat out of here. So you're Gary? Yes, I'm Gary. That's right. Oh, you vlog it? Yeah. Right, I um, but this this rig this white this rig looks okay, Skipper. Hey, we replace it. You gotta replace it for the insurance. Yeah, replace that really. I know the rig looks good. It looks good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I can't use it. So what what we do is we um I know you on the schedule. You said you wanted to be here on my the friendly. Yeah, right around mm -hmm. April fifteenth. So we gotta get these masks down as quick as possible to get them all rigged up. Yeah. Um, what about um, the wire the material? You said you would have sorted out that. Well, well it, it's supposed to be shipped. I've already paid. Okay. So it's supposed to be shipped. We'll so see. You, do you want the mask down this week or first week or next week? We can get them down this week. Then I can work on the mask this weekend. Okay, I'll call the crate and see if they can be trying to get it done either tomorrow. All right, or either early, um, the earliest next week. We, we got two um, holidays. We got Friday and Monday. Okay. All right. Our boats crew, myself, and all the wonderful tradesmen of Shagaramas are working very hard to get Aquarius ready for the party in St. Thomas, May 10th and 11th. We will be joining the Virgin Island Boating Expo in St. Thomas, which is held from May 9th through the 12th. And we will be very happy to give you a tour of Aquarius once we get there. I will be extremely busy getting Aquarius ready for the party, so this may be your last update. Here are some of the companies that are working very hard to get Aquarius back on the sea on time. We ain't got much time. If you would like to attend Vibe, use the Aquarius discount code, Aquarius Guest. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those. They said they came from Spanish. Oh.